Here at Glassbox, we're excited to introduce Dragonfly 3.1. This is our largest dot one update yet, and it improves upon many of the most successful features from last year's 3.0 release. But it also introduces multiple new features of its own, all centered around great usability and efficient workflows. Let's take a look. First off, Dragonfly now supports Unreal Engine 5.1 and Maya 2023, while we still support all previously supported versions. Next, we've given Dragonfly's UI a crucial makeover. The improved UI structure and naming should make using Dragonfly more efficient and intuitive. Lens distortions become more advanced, with variable lens distortion, like focus breathing. Approach it creatively, like with this lens that does not exist in real life, or for a realistic simulation, like with this one that very much does. Working with lens and camera definitions has become easier too. You can create them directly from operator main, and a helpful dialog saves time by copying aspects of existing lenses. And if you're using lens calibration, you can now import your U-Lens files to automatically convert into a Dragonfly lens definition. Snapshots and recorded takes are now detecting levels, meaning that when you're working with a mix of multiple levels, when required, Dragonfly will offer to automatically switch to the correct level and sublevels. Or, if you prefer to focus on one level at a time, you can also filter to show only the snapshots and takes that are currently relevant. We've also added more ways to control camera rotation, allowing you to bind pan and tilt to joysticks. And as always, we're also making that functionality available through Blueprint functions. Dragonfly's Unreal Viewport now has overlays, but it gets even better when you turn on Viewport Overlay Sync in the Companion App settings. Overlays include crosshair, grids, letterbox mask, and flexible safe frames. Speaking of the companion app, you can now customize the size of on-screen controls, which is great for working with iPhones and large iPads. You can also set pre-roll frames now to have recordings start with a delay, and Dragonfly for Maya receives a new and convenient way to install and uninstall the plugin. Finally, Dragonfly 3.1 adds a large number of bug fixes and other improvements. You can download Dragonfly 3.1 today, and we can't wait to see what you will create with it. As always, there's more where this came from at glassboxtech.com.